there's a lot of coaches and a lot of players that came before us. And our job and our goal is to make those guys proud. I mean, this is a special place, Evangel University itself. We have not been playing football very long since 1977. Uh, we've been fortunate to win a lot of championships here. All right, running backs. Square shoulders on Tiger. There's a bunch of backside cutbacks that we're not hitting fast enough, right? And multiple guys are doing it. Sammy, uh, Christian, you guys, I mean, we're hitting that backside cutback good. Like, it's there. It's just a hair late because our shoulders aren't square. The premise of spring practice is to really uh, take your current team. You're kind of working on the culture of your team. You're working on the basic fundamentals. You reflect on the things that you did in the fall that you really need to work on. We're really trying to figure out what, what we're really good at. You know, we're trying to figure out schematically to put our players in the best spot to succeed. So you got, you know, four or five weeks to really get that going and see who's really going to step up for us in the fall. We install everything, we see what we're good at because each group's a little different every year. We got most everybody coming back, but we're still a different group. So we still got to find out, you know, what we're really good at. It's something that if we didn't have spring, man, you would be uh, starting in the fall and be going, man, I, you know, you, you want to get all, work out all those kinks in the spring. We're going to argue this for one minute. Is Scotty Pippen better than Dwayne Wade? No, yes. Not even close. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Listen, you're just you're just you're just oozing garbage right now and it's listen, it's making you look bad. Don't do it. I know more facts. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please look at the install they gave you real quick. Everybody have that right in front of you. Typically we don't do a lot of install the last week, but we do have an install here because actually these plays are all based off the stretch. Do a good job this week of identifying the safeties. The depth of the safety will tell you everything. We use a phrase a lot in coaching, film doesn't lie. Uh, to be quite honest with you, the hardest thing to do in life is to self-evaluate. Just getting ready for a meeting is a, you know, an hour or two hour process probably, you know, but we'll make a cut up of like good, the good stuff they do, the bad stuff they do, and the real ugly stuff they do. And some of them, it's funny, they already know what play they're gonna mess up on, you know what I mean? Like they, they've already watched it before they came in there. So they're like, as soon as play six pops up, they're like, oh. you know what I mean? All right, good job right here is Ozzy, is that you? Okay, it's a good job with the uh, long arm right there and the power rush, okay? Tell me what you gotta do right there to do a little better job here. Uh, I gotta be at my feet. Yeah, see right there, your feet are way beyond shoulder width. So everybody in the room hears it, that's the thing. And so there's this full accountability. You're, the O-lines hearing the quarterbacks um, get coached, the quarterbacks are hearing the receivers get coached. And it can't be a perfect on a platter for you every time, okay? You're gonna have to catch the ball outside your body, you're gonna have to look it in, and for us to be great, you're gonna have to make a tough catch, okay? Good job, D-Will, making a great catch right there and just bursting in there, just routine, making routine plays routinely, right? So get to the numbers right there, and then get your head around and get going right there because now it's just a foot race. Can you outrun that guy right there? And I believe you can. I'm convinced 100% you can on that. You know, we're criticizing what you did, not you. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's never you. It's always, hey, this is why you got to do this, and you see why, right? And I'm, I'm telling you, it's like anything. It's like, it's like sticking your hand on a hot stove. You get burned, you don't do it again. Like if, if a corner gets beat deep and he realizes why he didn't, he ain't going to do that again. You're looking behind him. That's an easy fix there, right? Same thing with you, you gotta work to what? Contain, right, contain, contain. It's a good rush, but you gotta work and contain. Okay, wide check down, but what if this guy's really, really wide out here like this? Common yep, common sense trumps rules, man. Look at that throw. You tell me. Now he, may, he can get it over there, but he better not get it there before you get there. You got me. I always use this analogy. It's a horrible analogy, but, but it, it works to the team. So I lived in, in Springfield for a long time, and I would go m eat at Mexican Villa. In Mexican Villa, I always ordered a Sancho enchilada style. All right, and I love that stuff. And if you've never eaten it before, uh, you're missing out. It'll change your life, to be quite honest with you. So go in there and eat that thing. But I, I moved away for 12 years working at four different other universities. When I moved back to Springfield, one of the first places my wife and I went is back there. Well, when I ordered it, it still tasted the same. So what that means to me is they perfected what they're making so that 12 years later, I could come back to Springfield, Missouri, order the same thing, and it tasted the same or if not better. And that's really what we're trying to get our players to do. Perfect your job 
so that whatever your job is, when you're 50 years old, you could, you might move slower, but you can still do it. What are we waiting on? What you guys? Hang on. Jesus. That's the same thing. We're all waiting on Jesus, man. Huh? I'm waiting on you to use your hands right before that and Dwayne not to fall. Giving a full propane tank back to somebody was way harder than I have expected. Oh, yeah. I was like, okay, so I go to Walmart. Better off so. I'd have took it. That's what I'm saying. Well, like, don't give it back. It's already back. Yeah. <laughs> One time I was Brian, I went trying to get it going and too much oxygen got <laughs> over it. All right, so let's go over some things. Make sure you have something to write with. Make sure you have something to write on. But here's a few things that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about spring evaluation. So your evaluation throughout the spring. We're going to talk about your academics. So you're going to need to bring a copy of your course common grades in there too. Yeah, really, team meeting is just perspective. Hey, where we're at, uh, what we need to work on, um, what's happening next. This is what the top, top overall lifter gets pound for pound. That's a pretty cool little thing to be able to have. We have seven captains. So we select six during the spring and we add an additional one during fall camp. Uh, really one of the hardest working guys on the team is, is a guy that the players can trust. They know that they can come to them. They kind of help maintain the heartbeat of the, of the program. All right, so who had the top bench press on the team here? And that is Will Anawahi. <laughs> Player-led teams are the best teams, you know. The coach-led teams are can be good, but the, the best teams, the championship teams, are the player-led teams. Those guys are auditioning every day to be a leader on the team, so they're kind of, you know, they're, they're going for that. Now we're going to pass these out. Now listen, before you start anything, I'm going to kind of go through this. All right, and again, like we talked about. I meet with the captains quite frequently. I mean, they do things from the simplest thing, to decide what uniforms we're wearing that week. I meet with them and we talk about leadership. So I get a chance to, to pour into them from a leadership perspective. The seventh captain is actually voted on by these six captains. Really, really, you've done a great, had a great spring, especially during a difficult time when we're transitioning with new coaches, uh, doing some things new, some things differently. And you guys just got out there and you just busted your tail. It's the greatest game ever invented that anybody can play. It's the ultimate team game. That's what I love about it so much. Again, last note, you guys have done an outstanding job. I mean, our, out there and our guys are learning new stuff on really both sides of the ball. And you guys have done a great job. And uh, don't forget that. So, all right.